at SDFC, um, you're given responsibility from day one. The responsibility that you get, so within like the first few weeks I was put on a project as like one of the only thermal engineers on it. It's a really relaxed environment and uh, you get to work on lots of different exciting projects um, which enable you to develop your skills um, with, without a lot of the pressures of working in industry. Although you're given lots of responsibility, there is still obviously a safety net there. You are given lots of support. I don't have any previous work experience um, yeah, straight out of university. And I think that's, that's the good thing about the scheme, is that actually it doesn't ask you for loads of experience. It, it, it sees the potential in you and then it allows you to build that experience. The graduate scheme um, pulls you in slowly enough that uh, it, you don't have to have any previous work experience to be able to work here. I don't think it's, it's necessary, really. Um, it doesn't matter where you come from, it's just a matter of where you're going. And STFC is quite good at uh, um, teaching you or helping you achieve what you want to be. On the graduate scheme, which because we're not all um, in the same technical role, uh, we get we get put on the same um, soft skills training courses. So we have management training, leadership training, uh, team team building, presentation skills, that kind of thing. Um, and we go we go away on residential courses, which are quite fun. It's more on your technical skills. So I had I got a chance to go to Southampton, do a week course in uh, space systems engineering, which where I think my skills kind of lack in what's happening in space and stuff. So that kind of helped me. So they they are not really your team or wouldn't hesitate or not to send because of thinking in budget wise. It's more like if it's good for you, they will actually send. So there's loads of opportunity. So the next step will be um, to become chartered, which typically takes four years from, from when you start. Um, and the STFC fully supports you through that. They provide a mentor, they pay for membership fees. Uh, my working hours are quite flexible, depending on I sort of have a, a normal day of about half eight to about four past five. But um, if that needs to change, that can change. Yes, the very first few weeks of working were very tiring. I wondered how people do this for a living, but then I discovered coffee and I've been fine. It's nice to have the structure and not have, not to sort of always have to be thinking about work that you've got to do and have to work at the weekends and, and the evenings. Work-life balance is something that's actively encouraged by everyone at the STFC. Um, there's lots of recreational societies you can get involved with. Um, I personally play a lot of football and a lot of rounders and my management support me in that and are happy for me to do it. Um, and I think that chilled out attitude to, um, to, to work life balance is one of the more positive things that the STFC does. There's a uh, weekly uh, Rexlock quiz. Yeah. <laughs> Someone might be correct. And the questions again? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Push marks. That's what happens in the quiz. We get a lot of holidays. Um, it works out as over 40 days off a year, including bank holidays, so it's a lot of time to go out and enjoy something. The graduate scheme is very sociable. Everyone's sort of put together right from the beginning, and uh, you, you start getting, getting to know each other straight away. Each cohort seems to like come together and live in, live together in approximately the same place and stuff. So I still, um, I'm in my second year of the graduate scheme now, and I still live with the people who I lived with last year. We're all in the same position with all of kind of sciencey background, so it kind of lends itself to getting along. Which we, I found at least that I've made some really good friends in the past year. I've had a lot of opportunities to travel, so I've been around Europe, I've been to the States, and I'm planning a trip to Japan as well. So working at STFC has really given me the opportunity to see the world. Uh, I think having the responsibility to look after this uh, STR rig, um, it, was a, it was a lot of work, but it was very interesting work. For me, a particular example um, is when I was asked to give a careers talk at the National Space Academy in Leicester. Winning the quiz at the Rexock. That one round of this game who didn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> 
is a really good place to start work. Um, there's lots of good opportunities, you get thrown in the deep end. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to learn, especially for, yeah, especially for a first job. The, the graduate scheme is steps above similar graduate schemes for the simple reason that it combines all of the training and all of the guidance that a typical graduate scheme would get with the responsibility um, of, a, of a direct entry job.